Hi, my name is Marta and I just did Rob Duffy's program. I really just wanted to get on here and elaborate and share with you how that has helped me already as a person. Rob basically taught me, well, in a way he introduced me to myself. He really got to the bottom of things and he would not tell you, like he would not be like, you know, you need to do this and that in order for you to feel good and for your happiness and, and you should eliminate this and that. Rather, he would kind of get to the bottom of things. So, like, he's insanely good at this. Like, I would be talking, I'd be telling him, you know, about my week or whatever. It doesn't have to be anything super deep. I would just be sharing, you know, what happened this week, something that I wanted to comment on. And from there, he would listen to me talk and go like, oh yeah, you know, I was doing this and then, and then I felt a bit like that because of that. And he would listen to you and then he'd go like, whoa, wait, um, there's something here. And he would kind of notice those little things. Like, for example, if, if I'm going to be vulnerable here and share from my own experience is that what he noticed in me, for example, is that I had this belief about myself that I was not allowed to be emotional. And so in some way, I believe that my environment has shaped this, but I sh it's a belief that I kind of adopted and really, really fed throughout the years. And, and it had become such a natural belief. Like it was just something that I wouldn't even question. I wouldn't even realize that. And for most people, it's like, you know, we're aware of what we're doing, what we could be doing better, and we kind of focus on those things. But how many of us kind of really second guess those beliefs that we've had within ourselves? Like, I wasn't even aware that this was a belief that I held in my heart and in my head, but it controlled so many aspects of my life. And it would not allow me to be emotional. Like, I would think thoughts like, you know, if I'm showing emotions, if I'm being emotional, and then I'm you know, I'm difficult, I'm too emotional, you know, it's, you can't listen to a word I'm saying because you're just being emotional and your argument is invalid, right? Because parts in my, in my um, environment had kind of suggested that to me. And there was this kind of hype when I was a, a teenager that it was uncool to be emotional and that you were weak. And then my family would kind of be a little bit reserved. And if I would cry, they wouldn't kind of relate to me and just like, okay, you know, well, of course, there I have an amazing family that would hug me and all of that, but but it felt like that wasn't the way to go. And, and if I was going to be hurt, I couldn't show emotions. But this isn't true. You know, this is a belief that I adopted that definitely isn't serving me today. And that's what Rob would always go. He would ask, you know, is this belief, is he would figure out what belief you had and then he'd say, you know, is this serving you? And if not, how can we take that into the future in a better way? Like, how can you leave it in the past and reframe it and take something else into your future? Something better, something that's suitable. And what I took is that I love my emotions. They are a huge part of me. I'm always, I've always been an emotional person, which I don't think should be a label because we're all a bunch of walking emotions but I love to feel it's it's a part of me and I love that part of me today you know and I really pride myself on it because I can relate to people a lot and I can feel a lot of feelings like I would cry when my mother told me that a, a frog died somewhere in another country when I was young you know it really went to my heart and Somehow throughout the years, I shut that down and it was like, that's a bad thing, that's a bad thing. But now I'm kind of reconsidering all of that and, and it's been so liberating. Like, I feel like I'm so much lighter, like a lot of heavy stuff just kind of like, whew, went away, you know, just like kind of, I, put, I took it off. And that's just one example. Like, his program helped me realize so many things and this is all things that I'll take with me into my future and... I am so thankful for all of it. So I just wanted to come on here and say that because my heart is so thankful for this and I would not be the person I am today without Rob. I might have gotten here at some point with a lot of um, exercise and a lot of
people talk talking to a lot of people but I got here now and I got here fast and that's because of Rob because he really just showed me the way and he really helped me get all that clarity that I was always longing for because my brain was like one big foggy place to live and I gained so much clarity and imagine doing that at this age and this quick like if that ain't the key to success in any area, like in, in your own happiness within yourself or, or in your relationships or with your, you know, a work life or whatever. I mean, wow, this has given me so much and I'm so thankful and I would do it again and again and again and again and again. <laughs> so I really recommend that to anybody because I believe that it's so beneficial to everybody, even the people who believe they are 100% good at everything because... Sure, you may be that, but everybody benefits from this. And I think everybody should have a life coach at some point in their life. And I was lucky enough to have Rob. So I want to thank you, Rob. And I'm out. <laughs>